All right, hello everyone, good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Muckluck Streams. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Muckluck. And today we are continuing with the Darkest Dungeon 2. Uh, for those of you who might not have been here last night, but you were here the last time I did a morning stream of Darkest Dungeon 2, uh, last night's stream, the planned game we were going to do, we could not get it to work. So instead, uh, what we decided to do was uh, continue Darkest Dungeon 2. Um, we ended up getting to through the sluice and got to like what is basically like the third area, and uh, we got to the Fotor. Uh, not sorry, not the Fotor. What did we try? We tried the Sh Shroud Leviathan, and honestly, we were not quite ready for it yet, and we had a wipe there. So this is a restart of the run that we did last time, and. We went straight into the Fotor, because um, the Fotor had really good rewards. But if this team is going to be able to kill one of the quests, one of the bosses pre-mountain, the Fotor boss is the one that we've got the highest chance of killing. So this is a huge gamble, but this is like the beginning of the run. So we are going to try to take out the Fotor boss with this team, even though that they just started and they don't really have gear or mastery yet. And we're gonna see how that goes. Hello, just finished watching previous streams of VOD. My body is right. Hey, Bozer! That reminds me, I need to, uh... I need to put some, uh... names on these people. They haven't been named yet, chat. Okay, let's control burn that one. This boss turns my stomach. <laughs> this boss makes you hungry. Let's see. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's put Defender on her. Oh, nice. And Regen. Help counter that Blight damage a bit. Alright, that one will die from Controlled Burn. Well done. Okay, he's down to two. You guys might hear some thunder. It is storming outside where I live. Right, that one's dead. Hi, Archsmith. Good morning. Let's get rid of that blight, even though it's only got one turn remaining. Crit five. Is that going to move him? Nope, he resisted getting moved. Okay, uh, alright. I'm gonna just do taunt. Start on her. Now, right now, because we all we've done is finish, like, the tutorial area for this run, uh, she has level 2 control burn, and he has level 2 take aim. That's it. Everything else this team has is level 1 right now. So, this is a risk. We will see how this goes. But on the bright side, if we fail, we're in the first region, so we're we're losing less time. All right, and that should have lethal with the burn. Easily resolved. All right, and advance. All right, put taunt up. The second wave, then the the baby boss is on the third wave. Controlled burn that one. Take aim. Take a drink. Yeah, for those who weren't here, we were gonna play The Last of Us. Um, a game I've heard so many good things about. I'm spoiler free on the game, I'm spoiler free on the Netflix show. And I, but you know the PC launch of The Last of Us was just garbage. Gosh, look at me. I'm like they so apologized angry. for it. I was gonna play The Last of Us. However, um, when it uh, I, I that paid sixty dollars for it, I installed it, and on the main menu screen, it one hundred percent capped out my CPU and my GPU, and I could barely move the mouse. And I spent like thirty minutes troubleshooting it and trying to, you know, solve it in some way and fix it. Uh, and I haven't been able to. Conclusion. So, uh, having some major problems there. A master stroke. All right, that's lethal. And the goat is lethal at the start of its next turn. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, okay, that hurt. 
Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Hold the line. Good afternoon, all trying to figure out what kind of yours is that. Hello, Anessi! I mean, uh, standard stuff. I mean, we see we got a warrior, we got a thief, we got a fire brand, uh, we got a, a heal brand. You know, just uh, standard stuff. Weakness and Vuln. Uh, just put Defender up right now. moved, but he did block most of the damage. Um, mm, that's rough. Okay. She cannot throw firebombs from that spot. She has to be back further. So I'll take a bit of damage. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Judgment. Now that he's closer, we can use Wicked Slice. All right. All right, so I know this is risky, but it's now or never. Uh, if we fail this, then we have to start the run over. So boss fight. If we win, we get some good consumables, uh, double trinket selection at the hoarder, some uh, bandages, a bandage making kit uh, for the wagon, fire resist item, plus blight damage dealt. Um, each hero in round end chance of healing, that's really nice. Uh, and plus 25 inventory slots. Really good haul, honestly. All right. Last time we did this, the Highwayman died because I think it's this one. Yeah, this one basically spammed Taunt on the Highwayman like 15 turns in a row. So... I'm hoping this evade works. Okay, both of them get taunted, sort of. I wonder if she puts Sanctuary on him, if she can block the taunts that he would get hit by. Oh, she did! That does work. Okay, he just got, like, four stress in a row. That's awful. Lethality writ large. Regen. Do 10 freaking damage, oh my god. Is that Blight? Yeah, that's Blight. Cannot. Ah, oh, man. She 
She can't hit from there. Could cauterize or could have her run backward. If she... Hmm. Do that. Uh, let's see, she's got five damage on dots a turn. Let's cure that. Welcome relief from caustic agony. Malaise measured and steady. Oh man, he gets so many hits. Duelist advance to fix the party order. Oh, that would have been lethal on that. God dang it. Ah. Uh. And he has to take a bite. Uh, only ever beat this guy in early access. Uh, I've got a pretty good track record of beating this guy, but we are early in the run and a lot of people have level 1 skills, which is a problem. Lenzius, welcome. Thank you for the tier 1 sub, buddy. I appreciate that. Agony by accumulation. Dude, another blind. God dang it. Okay, no more taunts on the front row. She's taking a lot of damage. Alright. 50-50. And miss. She's missed both her blinded attacks this run. De-stress. Double Death's Door, and they both have dots. Ah, uh, alright. Okay. Man, that's rough. The, uh, having the, losing the coin toss on the blind on, um, the runaway twice was especially nasty. But yeah, that was literally, the, truth is late the boss that I wanted to fight on that run was the first stop of the first region. So it was like, all right, I know this is risky, but I'll give it a shot. A light in the limitless expanse. First stop of the first region was uh, a bit too much. The road calls once more to its dark passenger. Was that the monster I heard in the background? Uh, the the baby was the monster. Chapter and five. I'm gonna turn my fan on. No compass awaits you here. All right. Mankind became a mockery. His newly horrid outlines a twisted tribute to the shape of your flaws. Sudden baby sounds through me for a second. <laughs> The crossroads, a beacon for the broken and the battered. Uh, 
Ah, let's see. Mm, 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 mm. Thinking, just thinking, just thinking. Pride, more devastating than. As the this is chapter five, the, the final boss of chapter five is an extremely long fight, so I don't want the main healer to be limited by something like I can only use battlefield medicine three times per fight. So I feel like I really need to take the vestal for the chapter five finale. Um, the man at arms the the for the tank options. Repudiated. The leper can't fix his position if he's moved out of position. Um, flagellum is awesome, but just takes way more damage because he doesn't have like any block tokens at all. So, flagellum is great. Plus, the flagellant can't fix his position either. Does not work out what I missed when you're about to fight a boss? Yeah, we, it was the the boss. It was the the first fight of the first region, so everybody still mostly had like level one skills and stuff, and we we died on the boss. We were not ready for it. Could try something different. A murderous melody lingers long after the final chord has been struck. Let me uh, let me take over this for a second. Um, so you can make a runaway designed for the front two slots that makes more use of searing strike than it does uh, controlled burn. Or just sorry, not controlled burn. Uh, Firefly, because Firefly is from the back two, searing strikes from the front two. Um, still go arsonist for the fire resist. She needs to be able to move forward when she's out of position, so ransack, cauterize, and control burn are just so good. And 
I don't think she needs to run and hide for being up here. Mm hmm. Uh, did you know that most of the dust in our homes is dead cells? We ourselves dropped around. No need to thank me. No wonder it's so delicious. Okay, hold on. If I was going to do this, inspiring tune, probably encore, play out. Harvest would be pretty much useless on the final boss, but it would be decent up until that point. Ah, no, this... Hmm. This would not really work well on the final boss. Indiscriminate well, plague doc. Stains the surgeon's hands. So this would be double, double dot people. Double dot people. What's he start with? Nervous. Plus one speed, plus meltdown chance. Round start, plus one stress sometimes. Thanatophobic. Greedy. Oh, yo, Breacher! That's so good on the man at arms! Look at that. Every time you start combat. Move to the front, plus two uh, blocks, plus two taunts, and plus two damage tokens. Oh, shoot. That is really nice. Um... Really done much with backdraft. Can try that. Need to rename Chad at Arms. Chad at Arms. Let's see. Um. Okay, hang on. So Noxious Blast would be his bread and butter. Plague Grenade can hit the back too. Um... Indiscriminate Science. Maybe Magnesium Rain. Minus 20% max health, but his blight skills would land more often. Five skills I want on her. Or there's six skills I want on her and I have to choose five. Dude, I'm wondering if I should, because this is a little bit of a risky, I don't know, there's pros and cons to this. Like this team would be able to fight the general, for example. Whereas before, uh, my previous team could not. But, uh, there, you know, this this guy'd be a bit squishy. Could 
could run Illumination to remove positive tokens as Confessor instead of taking Ministration for now. In my head, I keep I keep trying to cover all of the possible problems, and I feel like the ability to remove positive tokens from enemy. The only skills I know of that does that is a Confessor Illumination and the Highwayman Steal. But there's so much you want. You want to have like the Regen in her kit. You want to have remove debuffs. Sanctuary I've really grown to like. Uh, Divine Grace is really solid. Uh, that's the single target heal, of course. And then you just need some kind of filler move. Okay. Really on the fence about the Plague Doctor. I feel like this run is such an opportunity with the fact that it, we're starting with Breacher. Like, that's insane. What, if I went Highwayman again, what would he start with? More damage. Ooh, Blundering is really bad. Okay. With so many subs, you'll see the chat is full of subs. <laughs> yeah, they, they were freaking made it rain yesterday. <laughs> Can he use Acid Rain from the back line? No, he has to be up front for Acid Rain or to use more and more. Ugh. I love the Flagellant, but he... He doesn't have anything that increases his chance to land his Blight. You should bring the Leopard. <laughs> he, did, he does so little. And if he gets knocked out of order, it's so hard to fix it. I've not found any Leper or uh, Hellion builds that I enjoy using. Like, she has one bleed she can only use the middle, and one she can only use from the front. Um... She does have a weird de-stress mechanic she can use. And she's constantly winding herself and having to take care of that. Dude, like, having her in the team is a hard mode in and of itself. Alright. Ugh. I'll risk it. I'll try this. So this team, weaknesses, it's got the same amount of stress reduction that the last team had, which is to say, not a ton. And then, aside from that, um, I, will, I would have to take something off of the Vestal's bar if I want to give her the ability to remove positive tokens if I'm coming up on fights that would need that. The bulwark of your denial is giving way. Uh, have you beaten the last three bosses in V Rising? I haven't.